Hello everybody, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This card I've made with using a brand new stamp set and it's called Jar of Flowers. This is in the new catalogue and um, there is a coordinating punch for the jar which I've got both. So I'm going to show you what I've done with it. I am going to be using the jar, the sunflower image and the stalks. That's what I'm using in there. And for the sentiment I'm using for you from Label Me Bold which isn't in the new catalogue. It's retired that one but I'm still going to be using it. I have also got a card base of 11 and 3 quarters, scored at 5 and 7 eighths and folded in half and burnished. I've got a white piece of card at 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths for the inside. A black, basic black piece of card at 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. Some um, paper, it's not stamping up, it's um, just paper that I think it's out, it's out of a book that my sister gave me of all different kinds of wood and planks I'm going to be using this side and this is three and three quarters by five and a half. I have a black piece of card at two and three quarters two and three quarters by four and a half then a white piece to go on top at two and five eighths two and five eighths by four and three eighths and I also have some scraps for the vase and the flowers because we're going to fussy cut these flowers out so, I need that to stamp on. Don't need them. Let's put this out of the way. Oh. Right, I've got a mento ink and I've got my flowers. Now I want to do the jar first. So, inking up the jar I am going to stamp on here even though I'm going to punch one out and place it over the top of it I just need this for a guideline and we stamp another one or ink another one and stamp it on our scrap ready to punch out and I have the stems which I'm going to stamp inside the jar like that and I have the flowers which I am going to oh yeah, pop down there like that and then we're going to stamp them on the other piece of scrap because this is the one we're going to cut out just 
clean my stamps off so they don't stain. Right, let's just finish with that. Um, and then for the sentiment, I'm going to punch this out first. Cut it too far up. Right, we just punch that out. There's our little jar. And the bit of cut off will do for my sentiment, which I'm going to use crumb cake for. And just stamp that down there. There we are. Right, I'll stamp in, we'll let that dry, don't need that, and while that's all drying, we'll stick our bits together, so, Um, in the new catalog there is some DSP that is similar to this wood effect which I might get as I do like wood paper I did anything inside did I? No. So I'll just put this inside. Right, that's that ready. Put the lid in with glue. Chop this sentiment up. That's flying on the floor. There we are. Keep that out of the way. I bet I'll lose it. Right, we're going to do some colouring. So, with our blends, um, I have Old Olive and I'm just going to colour all these stalks in. I'm not being too fussy with them, just drawing a line down the stalks.
there's that and then on here we'll just colour what greenery there is what I think is greenery um. News. Just trying to find all this, um, all the greenery bits. And that's it. Then with Daffodil Delight, yeah, all I did was just go over the, um, petals of the flowers just so that when we put our flowers on top um, you can see that it is coloured underneath so you only have to do around the edges where we're going to cut not this one obviously the other one Like that. Right, with the pink, I just colour in this single flower here. Nothing to, because it, like I said, it's going to be covered. I need some pale crumb cake for this big bud. And some Highland Heather for this. Right. Now we're going to switch. Oh, I never finished this. Um, soft sea foam light. And then we're just going to put some water in here. Making sure we put the water in the middle on the gaps. So on this one we need to do just a line around the 
edge. That's all. All we need to do is put, put that up a bit more. And we're going to colour these flower, some flowers in now. All right, what I did with them, with my daffodil delight, Ooh, not that one. Daffodil delight, light and dark, and some pumpkin pie, light pumpkin pie, and I want crumb cake. So with the crumb cake. I just went round the centres like that with the sunflowers, right. Daffodil Delight Light, just do the tips. No use wasting ink and colouring and mauling when we're going to go over in a, another colour. dark we're just gonna go and do the rest of the petal With the pumpkin pie, we're just going to do a very thin bit around the base of the leaf petals.
and now with the light we're going to go over it all again and we're going to use the bullet end and just rub it all in blend it all in as much as you can Making you see it a bit. Trying to blend this in. Some bits will blend in quite nice and then some just take a bit of work to blend in. I got melamang no so saffron dark and then went over all of it And then we have our sunflowers. Oh, I know what we haven't done. We'll go over this pink flower again because we're going to cut that along with the sunflower. Now, 
we're going to cut all these out not individually just as one and the easiest way I found this was just going up and down any board I'm actually cutting on the edge of the flower and there's a petal there that hasn't been coloured in which is the one I used to go Um, onto the next flower. think this is a waste of time but it's the effect it gives on the card. 3D effect. This was the only new stamp set that I pre-ordered. What other one did I get? Oh, I got, which you would have seen me used last week, uh, Timeless Tulips. Right, and now we go on to this flower. have to redo my blend box and add another row of holders as there's five new colours to add. Four of the new colours and An extra colour, but I can't remember what that colour was. All I know is I've got to make another row, which is just as well because my box is splitting anyway. So the way I lift it in and out of the cupboard by the lid or the side of the lid with one hand instead of grabbing it with both hands. And it's starting to rip. Alright, now we'll do this pink flower. And we're nearly done. I've cut all this flare out off camera. Sorry if I have. I 
There we are. Get rid of all that. All right, and with your black marker and the brush end and having the back towards you, if you go round the edge of your cut out, and tidy it up just makes this look a lot, a lot tidier if it's got a sharp black edge And the reason why I always say have the back towards you is if you do slip like that it goes on the wrong side and not over your good side. There we are. Right, I just need to colour in. There was two petals, that's that one and that one. And that one. And that was it. So what I'm going to do is stick this on this black bit. on the back of here and we're going to stick this on here And then with dimensionals, we're going to put dimensionals on the back of these. jar on first and pop this over the top there and then that one didn't need to be on there the wrong one. Stupid woman. This we put over the top. Now then I am going to put another one under there. And 
and then I'm just going to put some glue across the top of the jar. And our sentiment I'm going to place there, but we need a mini dimensional. And then the last thing is to add some gems, and I've got these gold button gems, one there, one up there, and one there. And that is our card. I hope you like it, and they've actually come out better than them. If you do give us a thumbs up, if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.